Good morning. Uh, we're in Dan, uh, Dan Chang. We're in Dan Chang. And Had this very... is our morning routine. Oh yeah, baby. This is our morning routine. <laughs> bit chaotic, bit organized. <laughs> Necessary every day. Dumb's always losing things. Yeah, it's it, I'm always find, having to find them for her, so. <laughs> At least if you're lying, show your face. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So we had an interesting night yesterday, oh, an interesting evening yesterday. We went out, uh, it was blistering hot in the afternoon and we were looking for something somewhere to eat. Um, we found this place, um, which was a resort that rented rooms by the hour as well. So we're not quite sure about that one. Um, but they, they opened up the restaurant, that was so kind. They opened up the restaurant for us specifically. They fed us. They had Excellent the beer food was as cold. always. Yeah. yeah, it was great. There and wasn't it, much <coughs> around the hotel because, again, and we didn't learn from last year. Booking.com, <laughs> Booking.com showed the hotel on the main street, and when we got here, we looked around. There was supposed to be a coffee place with five-star rating right next to the hotel, and it turns out that that main street is two kilometers behind us. At least it's so, around 115 this yeah, time. Yeah, so it's <coughs> much better than India, but still. Uh, we got to learn the lesson. Don't rely on Booking's, uh, Booking.com's location of the hotel, but check on Google Maps. <laughs> anyway, so because of that, we just wandered around. There is only a hospital and some and a 7-Eleven, which is a godsend. And an uh, odd resort. An odd resort. And, and then an even more odd night bar, <laughs> which we found last night. had a lovely lady working there who Decided who sat down with us and did some um, and drank some beer with us. It was very nice. Very yeah, pleasant. she asked whether she can drink with us. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's very pleasant. Morning. Good morning. Now we're off to Hua Hin, which yeah. is where we'll just relax for a few days and work. So this is the work. last long leg, mm -hmm. presumably. Yep. It's going Good. to be another five hour and a bit day, mm -hmm. and it's going to be hot. Yeah, and I think I don't think we're going through any mountains anymore. So, so we need to hit the road. Yeah. Um, so, I guess we'll see you on that road. Eleven for a whole version of um, breakfast. We have strawberry, ooh, strawberry biscuits. We had Portuguese tarts, some yogurt drink, and some raisins. Now, if we'd been smarter about it, we would have just had bananas and water. Things you found riding around Thailand. We're just riding past and we saw this huge, I 
think it's a monk rather than a Buddha. And this boat in, uh, it's not a real boat, but it's a boat in a lake. It's a boat shaped building, yeah. golden boat on an artificial lake full of fish and this massive statue. It's just so impressive. Yeah, things you find in Thailand, eh? We are inside the boat. All sorts of interesting snake with legs. Chicken with boobs. Yes, indeed. A lot of weird stuff. We came through that mouth. We are walking towards the boat, I guess. Well, it was interesting. <laughs> Didn't quite understand much of it. There was a man feeding birds his own intestines and baby ghosts and everything. Still, worth having a look at. Get the bike up. <clears throat> well, I had a little encounter. It's always me, it always has to be me. Uh, look at the world. There's plenty of space, but cars are pushing against each other. So it's single lane, and then two cars want to go through and bikes are on the side. And the car simply pushed me off the road and I saw the gravel, I tried to keep it steady, but we still had fairly reasonable speed. So it pushed me off, I couldn't get back on tarmac and I just lost control on the gravel. And as soon as I lost control, I revved it as well because I couldn't let go of the uh, throttle. So yeah, we ended up on the ground, the car stopped, it was a woman driving. Uh, came back and I ended up comforting her because <laughs> she was so distraught that uh, I don't know which one was more upset eventually. We had to calm her down that everything's okay, life is okay, I'm okay, always wear gear. <laughs>
<laughs> what does one say about today? It was a long day. We rode, what, seven hours? I think so. With stops and that kind of stuff. Some of them unintended stops. <laughs> but um, nonetheless, we're here now. We're here in the tourist area, so um, things are much more accessible. It's a little bit like a developing tourist area. Yeah. Still a lot of construction work just seeing out here. We have a nice little apartment. Totally. Four days, you know, four days here. Is, yeah. yeah, and it's really hot. And that's it is. what made it tiring. Yeah. Traffic in this area is a lot more pushy and more aggressive. It was yeah. more uh, route four. to to India. To Udapura. This was the Udapura of Thailand. <laughs> Cars pushing you off the road constantly and just, yeah. Just but um, we're here, yeah. so we're going to go out now and um, get something to eat. Um, we're going to be spending a few days working here. Um, so, yeah, we'll um, see you in a few days' time.